Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. We're talking about some training camp news, some IU rumors, and all type of things like that. So we're gonna dive first off with the big topic, of course, Brandy IU. Um, the rumors been going on for a while, been circulating around for a while. Brandy IU, of course, for the 49ers, you know, been a pretty good player, very good player actually at that. Um, like one of those big time receivers with the 49ers, explosive player, but he's looking for more money. The 49ers maybe not willing to give him the contract he's looking for, so now he's seeking trade. And when he asked for a trade, they said um, privately at first, then he made it say he asked for a trade publicly. And remember, many times we've seen on the podcast, on the Pivot podcast, talking about he want to go to either Steelers or Commanders, and you know, he's going to lock in Coach Tomlin's tweets and lock in all these different tweets about. Um, Jay Daniels, all type of stuff that's happening. So those are the top two teams that we kind of seen. I say, okay, maybe he might be going to those teams. But yesterday we had more reports that people kept saying, like, the Steelers are finalizing on the deal right now. I don't believe those. And then the Commanders are finalizing on the deal right now. I don't believe those either. But then um, we seen a report from NBC on sports thing saying that the Steelers and Commanders um, pulled away their offers for Brandon Ayuk because the trade value, I mean, the, 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 the assets that the 49ers are asking for was way too high. Um, for their for their own um, like we willing to like pay or give them like that so maybe they are asking for a first round pick and maybe some other stuff like that maybe a player first round pick and some other things but you're looking at it like hey I'm not gonna trade you a first round pick and a good player for Brandon Ayuk I gotta pay him 25 million to 30 million dollars because you know if his base of his salary is gonna start from probably a four year deal to 100 million so he will at least get 65 percent or maybe more of that fully guarantee uh, of that guarantee like that on that contract. And um, also, leads get paid $25 million per year. You look at all the different receivers that got paid at like this, and he's probably better than some of the ones that got paid some big money. So he's probably looking to get more in that threshold of like, um, maybe 20, starting at least at $25 million when they're negotiating it, and might negotiate all the way up to $30 million. So he had to see exactly what happened. And I know the Steelers are very cheap in paying um, offensive players. They pay some offensive players like when they ne when necessary. They didn't pay Le'Veon Bell, but they offered him a contract, but he didn't want to take the contract, of course. They paid Tanya Brown some big money, but Tanya Brown was a generational player. Um, Big Ben, of course, be our franchise quarterback. But if you look at all the other pieces around, the O-line get paid, the big time guys, but some of the other people really don't get paid, especially in recent years. A lot of guys, Judas Smith Schuster didn't get paid from us. We signed him to a one year deal, but he never got that big contract with us. Um, Chase Claypool, we traded him away, of course. Nancy Johnson got a extension with us, but it was no no crazy big time long term deal. Um, and he, he was gone too. I think George Pickens will get paid. I think he's gonna get paid uh, pretty good money. Like that, the Steelers they're gonna keep him around for a while. But the Steelers don't really pay receivers some crazy amount of money. Um, so I don't think Brandon Ayuk will be a Steeler because the Steelers won't be willing to pay him that crazy amount unless it was like something that crazy happened. Like they might say, okay, on the 49ers, we'll get rid of him real badly. We get him for like a third or fourth round pick like that. And then you just pay him. You can, we, we don't mind paying him that then because you're only giving up a certain amount of assets. But I don't think the Steelers going to go that approach of getting that IU. So we have to see exactly what happens. I know he advocated for playing for the Steelers. Maybe he in free agency next year if he played the 49ers year out. And in a free agency, I bet the 49ers just let him leave without getting anything back, of course. We'll have to see exactly what happens. Maybe next year they might look into it, or maybe he might get traded within the season. So there's kind of a lot of questions concerning, um, of course, Brandon Ayuk, and the rumors gonna keep continuing, keep on rolling in until the season starts, and probably within the season as well. You see any um, type of antic on the sideline, if Brandon Ayuk ever get mad or anything, they could be like, oh, he's going to get traded or something like that happens. So it's gonna be kind of going on for quite some time. Let's move on to the next topic, of course, which is Russell Wilson. He went out there and was balling today. Uh, it's good to see him back on the field. Um, healthy. I know he practiced last week and stuff, but he was only throwing the ball. He was only throwing and dropping back. But now we're seeing him go out there. Okay, he's moving a little bit, doing the drills like that, driving down the field, threw some nice pass to I don't know, Washington, threw a nice pass to Van Jefferson as well. Still have a great accuracy on that deep ball. And um, he has been one of the most accurate quarterbacks. The QB rating is probably one of the highest ones in this generation. And actually, in NFL history, I think he has a big time um, QB rating. Um, I mean, passer rating like that because the way he plays so accurate. He has a tight grip, tight spin on the ball, almost like a baseball pitch a little bit, but it's kind of like tight grip and he just like zips, zips to you and stuff. Russell Wilson might not be the tallest out there, but he always found a way to make plays, make things happen. You know, the Russ Cook. I said, the, I, I think I um, said the uh, moniker for this year should be, um, you, you can use Russ Cook if you want to, but I think trust in Russ. Trust in Russ. That should be like one of the moniker he used for this year, but he was doing pretty good in the drills. I like that he's looking more healthy. I don't know if he's gonna play that first preseason game. He might play on um, this Friday. We'll have to see what the Steelers do. But he most like, the way he's looking kind of now. I think next week he'd be ready to play preseason game and get a little reps, seeing like out there, maybe a few drives here and there. But um, he's been looking pretty good though. I like Russell Wilson being the starter. Um, of course, Justin Fields is a nice player, but I think him sitting behind Russ, like I mentioned many times before, sitting behind Russ 
getting better and better, learning, like that, taking those um, first team reps right now because Russ was injured. But now we're um, kind of seeing him get better and better, showing his accuracy improving. I think Fields um, maybe easing himself in to being, of course, the starter. Or maybe next season or maybe later this season, like if um, we go out there and have a, a nice like season. I hope we can get to one day we have those seasons where we just go out there and just win a lot of games. Like maybe 12 games and in the last game you rest your starters and we can see Justin Fields out there to play like that in the last game. Maybe we'll see one of those, but I think most likely he just easing, he easing himself until like playing maybe next season. So he will have him sit behind the Russ. He can see the positives of Russ on um, play style, the, learn from a Hall of Famer, 10-time Pro Bowler, a guy who's a Super Bowl champion. He can see some of the negative things I can do and stuff and just learn. And Russ is willing to help him as well. You know, he's been talking about and thriving about being a leader and helping him too. And some quarterbacks, you know, don't want to give any type of help. Like the Aaron Rodgers, the Brett Favre, the Big Ben on our team, they don't want to get no help at all. So it's good to see that Russell Wilson being a quarterback willing to give help to some to quarterbacks as well. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens in the future with Justin Fields. But I think for now, Russell Wilson is a starter unless he gets hurt or something crazy happens. Um, moving on to the next topic, of course. Van Jefferson. I think he might be emerging as, of course, George Pickens' Robin. Because we've been seeing him over and over the past few, like, like weeks on uh, training camp just going out there and making big-time plays. I've seen him with Justin Fields make some plays and be consistent. He tracked the ball well down the field. He had, he's very explosive. Um, great separation as well. Um, you know, he played for the Falcons, played for the Rams a little bit. You know, the Falcons and Rams um, utilized him as kind of like a streaky guy, a guy who just takes the top of the defense a little bit and, and some of the on, on the field and like open the space up. But now you're seeing him get more and more consistent. And I think he might emerge as that guy temporarily as a receiver too. But I think Roman Wilson in the long run is going to be the guy because look at Roman Wilson and look at the history of the Steelers of developing receivers they drafted. They do a good job. They do a phenomenal job in developing receivers. So I feel like Roman Wilson will become that guy. He's finally out the walking boot too as well. So he should be probably be being ready to get back to practice. I know Kendall Bennon was a guy who was, didn't practice today. He was in shorts, but he was out there though watching the drills and stuff. But Van Jefferson looking good though. I like the way Van Jefferson has been playing. And I think he can be a guy that game changing guy on the outside for us. I ain't saying he'll go out there not my board down. I see going out there and put up like some crazy numbers, like you no know, um 800 yards or a thousand yards, or anything like that. But I think he'd be a guy who can definitely um over the top of the defense up like that. You know, we kind of struggled with that the past few seasons. Calvin Nelson supposed to have been that for us the past few years, but remember his first year as a rookie, he got injured. Then the next year after he played well early on when the Raiders game hit that big touchdown, but then after that he just went like cold, like he got injured banged up without the rotation to some jet sweeps here and there and this didn't work out too well maybe that was Matt Canada maybe that was just him not getting better and better but hopefully this season we see more production we see some more like deep passing Russell Wilson got a great deep ball so to see those guys get out there and the quarterback who actually can get the ball to them it's gonna be nice to see so this basically what happened really today and all the things that are going on of course and yeah that's kind of all I got for this video to get today guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's a shorter video we have more content coming because you know the preseason game is on Friday so I'm gonna have a preview um, for the game and expectations I'm gonna have for the game as well coming out probably tomorrow and then Thursday we have some stuff as well then on Friday we're gonna do of course you know watch the game like that watch the game do reviews of the game and see the, the bright spots of the game like that hopefully during the Washington they utilize a lot more in the offense I know I've seen Russell Wilson give the ball to him a few times in practice so hopefully we see Darnell Washington utilize he's a 6-8 target a big time target that's one thing I want to see like see Darnell utilize especially in the red zone utilize a lot more Darnell Washington and I hope they make the emphasis on that I didn't make emphasis on using Pat Fryermuth of course a lot during training camp but hopefully they do that same thing for Darnell Washington I feel like he can be a game changer at the goal line but this is all I got hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time peace out